understand, and then mm -hmm. refer to people to this. Right. Because Which I think more people would read it. Do in this committee, though, is, well, that, is make that executive summary. We can do that. You know, kind of. Well, to build on your point, can we just throw this out and see if it comes close? Wendy and I took a crack at this, and let me explain it when you get it. There's no recommendation in here. The things you'll see listed are just all the possible you options. I got it. You got it. Jane, you got one? Yes. Do you got one? I got one. <laughs> I got two. Oh, sorry. I never let go. I lost. <laughs> it's okay. So let me explain to you what it is. Down the left-hand side are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight options that we came up with possible ways that we could um, educate the youngsters at, in the Stockbridge and Rochester communities. And it runs all the way from leaving as it is, maintaining three buildings, fix the priority items, all the way down to the last two, one of which was mentioned at our last meeting, which was offer choice for all students in Stockbridge and Rochester. And then one we added, we don't think it came up in our discussion, but we just wanted to go from did, the beginning to the end. One of the sub ones, right? It did. It was, it was at the yeah. end. All right. So the last one we added there was build a new unified pre-K-6. Mm -hmm. I guess we don't need unified twice. Elementary school. Yeah. The columns over here are intentionally left blank because we are thinking that this committee could help fill in those columns in terms of what is the essential information out of that report that we would like to convey about each of these options. And here's the hope. The hope is it would do a couple of things. I too think this report is very dense. It's going to leave people, I think, with misinformation and not necessarily a clear picture of what some of the options are. Right. So if we could come up, and I was guessing that Cricket, Willis, and Jenny could probably help us figure out what are those engineering headings that should be up there? And I'm, we're suggesting, Lindy and I are suggesting that once we figure out whatever this is, we take all of these options to the communities. And it will be the communities that will say, you know what, two and five look like the best ones to us. We don't want six for sure and we not don't want for, sure, for not sure not that. And it will begin to narrow down because I think we're going to get someplace in the process when we're presenting to communities and then the board needs to move towards, okay, what are we going to do? Communities are going to, part of how they're going to make a decision is going to be, what does it cost to do three? What does right. it cost to do six? Right. I don't think, like I could sit here now, let's say I was a resident of Rochester, I could sit here now and I could say, I want my elementary school to stay open. Joanne could sit there and say, mm -hmm. I want the Stockbridge School to stay open. Neither one of us really have a good idea as right. community members what it is going to take to do that. Right. Does that mean $100,000? Does it mean $600,000? What does it mean? Right. So I think if we begin to sort of put the information from the report in these columns, whatever these columns might be, that would be a way of synthesizing the report that might be easier for people to understand than reading this I still think we have to figure out ways to make copies of this available. To get information to fill in those three columns. To create that yeah. right. summary. Because, yeah. exactly. for example, number one, maintain all three buildings, fix priority items. Okay, I don't know personally why we would do that. We don't need two buildings at Rochester. We need one or the other. But I think we had to do justice to these different options. We put it in there. Mm -hmm. So maybe that has a price tag. I don't know. I'm going to pick a number out of the air. $900,000. I don't know if that's anywhere near 179863 For, For both buildings? Someone did. Well, it was in there. It was in the book. He did some math. Sure. Okay, right. Good. But I think. I went through, I went through and, and, okay. and filled But then when comp, people are yeah. saying, yes, I want to maintain all three buildings, right. they'll, That's they'll what understand at. it's going to be $179,000 to do that. But are we going to just pick? I was hoping we would actually analyze what is in the report and actually look at the items that they're saying are their priority one items so that when we're putting a price tag on here, we're kind of already sugaring out some of the things that we're saying, well, that's right. not really that's a priority. Beyond the ability okay. of cost estimating right at that point. Right, okay. Um, 
like I said, plus or minus 50 percent is possibly close to where you're at. And they've they've done a good job of itemizing in some of these pages, but getting that detailed into and well, is it the, well the other thing too. I thought, Amy? Just let me make this last thing, and then I'm quiet. The other thing I thought, when this is filled in, however this committee wants to build in, if we decide to use what we've done, there could be backup sheets. So let's take. Carl's 179,000. Okay, we could do a backup sheet that said option one, maintain all three buildings, 179,000, and list right under it in bullet points the main pieces that add up to that 179,000. So somebody knows when they're looking at option one and they're voting for $179,000, it means they're going to get, a, I don't know, fixed ventilation system, re repairs to the roof, whatever's in there under the high school and the elementary and school. And I would recommend a yearly cost to do that as well. And that might be a column. I mean, yeah, that's why we didn't try column heads. Right, 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 right. Because that's, well, and there could be more, there could be less. There yeah, could be. The cost right. thing is incredibly hard to get into mm -hmm. one column. An equivalent annualized cost is what you really need moving that's forward, what which I mean. involves single one, one time costs for repairing right. renovations. It also involves cost savings incurred by. Um, getting rid of a building, maybe a cost realized by selling a building, if that's even possible. Mm -hmm. um, ongoing maintenance costs, which are going to be high if you only fix some critical priority items and don't address other things. Mm -hmm. Ongoing maintenance costs are going to be lower for the options where you put a bunch of money in up front and fix sure. a bunch of things. Sure. So, uh, you know, a seasoned financial um, person would really have to be the one to flesh out, say, the two that are the most palatable to the communities, because fleshing that out in terms of an equivalent annualized cost moving forward for the next 30 years is a master's thesis. Right. I mean, I so just kind of having a column, okay, this is what it costs year one to do this. It's, it's a column, but it's a very small part of the overall picture. Right. It's. Um, but it's a, it is a call. Right. You got to start. You got to start right. somewhere. Yeah. The other sure. thing we thought might help is that <clears throat> we know you have to pay for information. Information doesn't come free. There's so much more we need to know about the issues raised in this report that are going to have price tags attached to it. That if we could even come up with enough information to have communities say, okay, these are the top three we want to look at. And, then and I don't want to put words in your mouth, but then I then think we could dig up. deeper into those three. Mm -hmm. And it certainly would cost less to get more information on those three than it might on six of these things. Well, like one of the things we said was we want to look at the option of building a new, your last choice, build a new, a new unified pre-K uh, school. So if you dig through the information in this report, it says that each kiddo needs about 200 square feet of building. To be, to be in a, quote, modern school. And we have 150 kiddos, so we need a 30,000 square foot building. The prices in this report for building square foot on the addition are around 350. So if you take, if you say we need three acres, and that's about 15,000 an acre, that's 45,000, plus uh, a 300,000 or 30,000 square foot building at 350 bucks a square foot to build, that's a $10,500,000 building. And then you add 25% to the cost of the building, you figure you're not going to have an overage on the land, but the building. You can so you could say it's line. about $13 million yep. well, to build a new much school. Ends that one. <laughs> but I think, you're, I think you're probably right, Joanne. Right. But I think we have to put that out there as an option, sure. or someone's going to bring it up and say, have yeah. you looked at the cost of a new school? <laughs> right, right. No, it's true. We have to be fair for, right. for no, everybody. Right. Didn't in Stockbridge is 8,300 square feet. So if you're going to expand, uh, put an, an, an addition onto Stockbridge, that addition needs to be 21,700 square feet. And that works out to a $7,600,000 building. Um, interestingly enough, because it's already about a 30,000 square foot building, you only need to put like $5 million into the high school. But this building, you'd have to put um, like $8.5 million into, just to just... But that's again just saying, okay, well, three hundred and fifty dollars—that's a square foot price, and two hundred square feet per kid, and one hundred fifty kids. I mean, so it's really kind of back of a cocktail napkin sort of calculations. But it does—I mean, I agree—it does start filling in 
these sheets so that you can do things like saying. As long as we can have that back up right behind that, though, to how did you come up with these numbers? So what what wow. goes into that two point five million? We're gonna just jump and grab numbers, but we just <laughs> jumped and grabbed numbers. Well, we have to. I mean, and I can show you. I've got a spreadsheet that I share with Bonnie know, that she can print that moly. goes through, and that hundred and seventy nine thousand dollars was based on me looking and through and saying, yeah, we do need to move a bus plug. Yeah, we do need to. You know, they say the fresh air furnace doesn't work at all at Stockbridge, period, end of report, so we have to replace that. Um, and so, I mean, I can, I can, I, I've, I've shared with Brian, we can print it and look at it. This is just my interpretation of going through them and trying to say, we need to do this, we need to do that. Um, well, and Willis, but, I mean, we have Willis to. Willis spoke to that, too, at the last yeah. meeting, that what they identified as priority one, sorry, or... I think we'd all, we would all agree it our priority one, but some of their priority two items in, are just yeah. as concerning. Almost as, or at least as concerning as right. priority one. See, I think in the beginning, it's okay for us to start with some General broad idea. numbers you, because nobody's yeah. asking anyone to make a final decision based on any of those numbers. The assumption that Lindy and I made is that we wouldn't be able to do a, first of all, we wouldn't, um, it wouldn't be a prudent use of money to do a deep dive into all these. And secondly, I think a couple of these, as soon as we present them to the communities, they're going to say that's no, not our you. first choice. Yeah. Put those aside and don't spend any money getting any more money, uh, any more information about that option. Maybe, maybe do we present with no columns? That's an idea. Um, Just here are some options feedback. we've identified. Well, I don't. Yeah. You know, with maybe a little footnote that says these obviously all have different costs associated oh, with oh, them. Oh, I think we should have some explanation. Some, fo some several footnotes, some but then may say just jump out at you like, oh my gosh, how did we not see that before? Yeah, and and um, Joanne and I talked a little bit about that coming up the hallway tonight. In that, I think if we were to, so here's my worry, cricket, about doing that. Yeah, yeah. If we were to put out these options, and I'm a lifelong citizen of Rochester, I'm going to say, I want you to maintain Rochester Elementary School. Right. And somebody else Without is going to say, I want you to maintain Stockbridge Elementary School. And we don't really know what that means. Right. We don't really know that we we've got to put... understand what that and means. I, and it doesn't have mm -hmm. to be on... People don't need to do it on a price tag, but people need to understand when they're making the decision to keep one school open, this is how much it's going to cost. And I'm choosing that, even though that's a more expensive item, mm -hmm. because that's what my community and right. I want. Mm -hmm. I want best for educating our kids. But they, it has to be a, a conscious decision with known facts mm -hmm. about what needs to be mm -hmm. fixed, about what the cost of those are. And that's what, that's what I think we need to do, is yeah. get that information out that says, to use this school, this is what needs to be fixed, and this is how much it's going to cost. Can we dumb this down one more? level and say before we do this and maybe this is ridiculous but can we have like priorities education which is mm -hmm. obviously yours and ours too but Absolutely. yours education priority one what's the second priority community what's the third priority financial right. if we can start our presentation with what goes into our thoughts here as well then maybe it will be accepted a little bit better and from that, from that, that then go to the options. Exactly. About because I think if we have the, the three or four or whatever numbers we can come up with as, as a presentation that we came up with this from this. Mm -hmm. And so that when the communities actually come in and they, they make their comments or whatever, they can <coughs> see that it wasn't just financial. It was not just educational. It, you know, or whatever. I just think that would help. I know that's not coming from a engineer mind because I live with one. But <laughs> so I don't want you to think I'm saying I'm. I'm just trying to. There is going to be an emotional piece. Sure. Mm -hmm. And I think that that might help that side of it as well. Right. Okay. Right. Um, just in our introduction. Right. Mm. I think the other piece we have to get at, and again, I wrote myself this note right here. Remember the charge, no recommendations. The other thing we have to understand is, um, in, in my thinking, the only thing we should be presenting is what's in this report. That's the only task the we last. were asked we to do. When we go through these and we take three out, it's going to be other reasons as well. Right. right. 
So you can say it all you want, but we all know that, that you know, we have in our hearts what we want for right. our communities. Right. When you said we, Joanne, you meant the communities take That's out, right. right. Okay, good. That's all right. right. I just going to keep and I mean being clear about that. both communities. Right. 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 I, I think that, I mean, we, we had this discussion and we wrestled with it last time, and I think, you know, again, part of, yes, we have to present what's, what's based in here, but we do have to, you know, I, I think it's important that you have you know, the two choices that aren't expressed in this report, which are the, what would it be to just put everything at one school? What would it be to close all the schools? It's there. As I think those they're there, Carl. They no, they're on the list. Yeah, they're on the okay. list. What I'm saying is they're not in this book. So we should address that in a general sort of, little asterisk, here's, the average, here's right. the average tuition for, you know, for elementary school kids in this area. It's going to cost about that. So we have, yeah. we have an idea of what our ongoing operations are. Even though that's not in this report, same right. with the, the oh, saying I, going I, I to get, one yeah. building, right. it's yeah. not in this report. But we should at least be able to say, this is one of the options that you all have to yeah, consider. We may not like yeah, it, yeah. but it might be, like I said, it may be something we look at. Mm -hmm. And uh, maybe an educational column, because I feel like I've been educated just by coming to these meetings about um, option number one and, and how sustainable that is on a long term or even medium term right um, and what can happen that's completely out of our control um, if we choose option one for too long and what kind of position that puts everybody in and Bonnie and Lindy have educated me at these meetings as to you know the, the whole idea of of a, you know what's called the penalty phase or something. I didn't really even understand that prior, and so I don't imagine a lot of the public understands you right. know, how kind of close we are to that type of a, right on the edge. Right. So, mm -hmm. you know, while option one can appear appealing for a lot of reasons, low cost um, keeps in the communities what what they've had all along. It it may be both. Cool. And from a sustainability standpoint. And I think that's exactly what we need to do, though, is we need to get the information into those columns so that we can right. look at it and say, oh, my, that is way out of our range of cost. Or, oh, right. it actually is not as far out as I thought it was. Right. But um, remember, also, we have to go back to the articles of agreement, and it was one building, one building. No, and it was not. The, the Articles of Agreement do not specifically state that oh, Rochester will Actually, you're right. It was in the handouts that Steve Dale gave us. You're right. It was in the handouts. <laughs> well, we know about those. <laughs> yes, but I mean, that's what we voted on. Exactly. Right. But right. the and point I'm going to make about that is So we, I'm just saying might... that the people in our town think it's one and one. Right. And the right. point I'm going to make about that is that it's not exactly a moot point, but it's pretty close. It's because big... if oh, we really? try and maintain all three of those buildings for much longer... I know I'm not I'm not making a recommendation, but we I think will hit the penalty because we're pretty close, right? right. And, and I think that's and what we need to do now is get those numbers in there so we can all see that but that's, and we can present that's that. That's the tough conversation to have. Part of the reason some of these buildings are in the situation they're in is because things have been tried to be maintained and then it's like oh wait nope we're gonna do this for kids which i'm always in full support of mm -hmm. we're gonna mm -hmm. do for the, this for kids and we're hanging on to something too long and then right now we're in a situation where we've got these really big fixes yeah. and mm -hmm. we just can't that's in right. my opinion not a sound way to continue to operate it's going to push us like everybody keeps saying closer and closer to the penalty if we're not yeah. careful well when i went through in my process so the first thing I did was I went through and I looked at all the, 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 the level one and, and some of the level two recommendations and kind of tried to sugar that out mm -hmm. for the three buildings, figuring that no matter what, as we, as we discussed last time, you know, this roof is, the, 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 we can't have this roof leaking in the winter. We can't, you know, we, we have to have buildings that are safe and, 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 and so on and so forth. Dry. And yeah, and that's where, like I said, when I went through and just, Listened, you know, thought about what Wilson said, thought about what you had said, and just identified things. That's where I got like that hundred and eighty thousand dollars. For what? And that breaks. Um, I can share the spreadsheet. With yeah, you. I'd that, love that. And did you do that with all, all the options, or just the? Uh... I did that with some of them. I didn't get. To, I didn't get down to doing an, an analysis of tuition yet. But um, the thing that the thing there is, it's like it, that also sugars out to. 
Um, one of the important figures we always need to keep in mind, I think, is you know, we talk about equity between the two towns, between the two communities, is that it's a 60-40 split, it's not a 50-50 split. There's 60% of the grand lift is Rochester, 60% of the kids are Rochester, 60% of the excuses are, are, are 60% of the expenses are Rochester. So, you know, 40% of the expenses are Stockbridge, 40% of the kids are Stockbridge, 40% of the, yeah, I mean, we had the, we, we can pull, I can pull the numbers again, but yeah, that's wow, Carl, from really? the Stockbridge. It's 60 and 40, yeah, basically. And you, and you guarantee it'll be that every year after this year? No, but I can't guarantee anything after this year. Exactly. That's, that's the, but the and point that's being, the point. The point being is that 60-40 is a good rule of thumb, um, at least in my mind. And when I look at the cost of the emergency stuff, that works out to about 43% of that $180,000 is to fix problems in Stockbridge. 58 is to fix, prob fix problems in Rochester. So that seems to fit around the general, the, the, the general feeling. And I think that we all sort of thought that, that we, need, we had about a quarter million dollars or so of, of work that needed to be done right away. So I, I'm okay with that. Where I... Where I, when I started looking at the next question, which was one campus in each town, and going through these numbers, so what I started with was they have their suggestion. They say, okay, this is what we suggest. If you're going to ongoing operate in, 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 in these towns, this is what we suggest. And one of my assumptions I made was that we paid for this report. We trust its opinions. I'm not going to completely second, second guess all of it. I'm going to change some things because I don't think... Like when I look at the square footage they want for an art room and a and a uh, a music room, um, in this building I say, well, you know, you could subdivide that gym. You don't need a full size gym. You could put rooms in there, and that's all going to be a lot cheaper than than doing that. So I tried to kind of look at some of those things. Like they said, well, it'd be this much to replace the replace the ventilation ventilation system in the high school, but you could probably get away with cleaning it for forty grand. So I, you know, said, okay, let's go with their suggestion of the, 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 the cheaper ways. And the big thing that worried me there... If you're not limited by, like, equipment that you just can't fix. Anything. Right, 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 exactly. And maybe choose... And the, like Willis like, said, exactly. you start one thing and another but, thing happens. Mm -hmm. Right, right. I'm, I'm trying to, you know, look at the numbers right. in the report and look at the ones that seem like... Like they said, we could replace the whole ventilation system for 340 or clean it for 40. Right. So I said, well, let's, 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 let's look the at the... Let's, let's say we can choose the 40 and, 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 go and, and bring that down. Carl, you still end one up thing that's important about what you're doing, it goes to Amy's point. If we were to just... This is a great example. If we were to ask the community just blank, straight-out question, do you want to replace the ventilation system or do you want to clean it? If that's all we ask people, the obvious question is going to be, well, what does it cost? That's why what you're doing is so crucial. So somewhere in some part of our presentation, at some point, we have to give people numbers. Yes. Here's, here's something that's really bothering me. I think what you're doing is really great. And I think you can make a simplified version of the chart, a uh, simplified narrative of this. But the problem is, I wouldn't go to the Supreme Court with these numbers. Uh, you know, these are, they make clear in here, it's a broad range, and they're saying, yep. we don't know, and the minute you start opening the walls up, right. whoa. Right. So I think there needs to be some way, because the, for most voters, I'm, I'm, I'll bet you a buck, it's going to be about the money. Particularly if they don't have kids, sure. they're going to look at the mm -hmm. figures and what's going to do their tax, and that's what, they're gonna, that's what their eye will be drawn to. Uh, but but it, everything has, to, we have to find some way to be tentative enough about this, mm -hmm. that, uh, and honest with people, because you can't, I mean, one of the first things you said as a professional engineer was, I, I'm uncomfortable with this. So uh, it seems to me if you made a kind of a simplified, do, do what Carl's doing best you can, and that would give you a kind of a menu of options, and it would be very obvious very quickly, I think, right. which yeah. were going to come forward. Well, the, the, um, the, 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 the big thing I found is that when you look at the percentages, to, to do all the recommended things, and, and again, going over it with a little bit of, uh, of a fine-tooth comb, um, you know, that, that's where both the Rochester buildings are, you know, looking at about $5 million worth of work, and the Stockbridge building is looking at about a million dollars worth of work. Right. And I didn't think that's you what say, said. you know, it's, it's that, that's, that's a, you know, that's where I think we get into a harder conversation, because the, 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 that's a lot of money. <laughs> and I think to your I think to your point, Rob, that's what we were that's what Lindy and I were trying to grapple with. We're trying because I'm gonna go back to something I said before. You have to pay for information. We're not gonna get better figures without paying somebody to yeah. give us better figures. So our wonderment only was 
if we put up these six or seven, will four of them get pretty clearly rejected in both communities? Then we figure out how do we get better information about the three that are standing? Because I don't think that, I don't, I'm certain we do not have enough money to fine tune all six of these options, or seven, how many there are here, of these options. And those, if we just number them, um, four, five, and six, the kind of consolidation type options are definitely not ones you're going to be able to glean information out of this, because like I said, there was direction to not look at that. Right. So right, but I think what you've done is very helpful. Very helpful. Yeah. And I and I, I would like to like dive into that more and, and have that those numbers of picking out that cleaning the ventilation system versus repairing it and, and looking at those numbers and plugging these numbers into these buildings um, with the thoughts behind it of what those numbers mean to show us what we have. But, yeah. Are we leaning toward the minimums and the maximums with their recommendations or are we That's doing... That's a good question. Because if you do the minimums, it's a whole different story. If you do the, the maximums, mm. you know, I mean, I don't know where... Were yeah. you doing the minimums? I was, looking at the, I was looking at the... Or the individual The things. spreadsheets, the, 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 the spreadsheets yeah. towards the front um, that had... Which is where their columns. executive summary numbers come from. Um, so, like, where it said, where what I was page, looking at the... What page, Carl? I'm, I'm, like, on, on page 12, okay. uh, 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 where the Stockbridge um, preliminary scope and budget summary is. Yep, 12. For the, for the first part where I looked at minimum numbers, I looked at the column and said minimum scope items. Um, for the second one where I said where I was looking at well, you know, to have a, a you know, the, the one school in one town, I was looking at what would take to make each school viable. I was looking at the suggested scope numbers. I, I did not bother looking at the extended scope. Okay. <laughs> they did. Because I was looking at, in the beginning, where they showed, like, the minimum. The ranges, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the minimum. And those maximum. do correlate with pages 12 through 20. Okay. Right. So they're executive summary numbers from the Black River Design Executive Summary, which is right the overarching the, consultant. I went right to the they do correlate with. So okay. those executive summary numbers are, are a good um, snapshot of the Excel spreadsheet. So those numbers are these numbers. numbers. Yeah. Right, kind of condensed and, 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 and put into a range. So I like just went through, I just, and then like for the, the for the elementary extended. school, I looked at, you know, whatever the appropriate columns were for their suggestions if it stayed as a school. And I, you know, okay. I, I. Well, and it kind of brings up a, a, a question, like here in the, page 13, their priority one is the, the flooring, that red tile in, in um, Stockbridge. And then we had gotten the asbestos. Uh, it's only if you're going to do new construction. Right, but yeah. But so that number is in the number that you've created as a, as a cost of priority like one items in Stockbridge. Um, yeah, so when I, what I went through, so for the, for the do the minimum piece, I went through and looked at all the items and, and chose the ones that seemed like they, I, I didn't care as much about the um, staff bathroom not being ADA, but the kids' bathrooms not being ADA. You made I some judgment about. calls. Yeah. Okay, um, so I said, so okay, so we need to, they, right. they, they say the fresh air furnace doesn't work, period. We need that $17,000 fresh air per, Even furnace. Even if it's because, a priority, too, that's kind of a... Yeah, yeah but it, it doesn't the work the at all. Right. <laughs> right. You know, the, the, the bus plug, that, plug that's a hazard, we should probably fix that. So I kind of... I picked and chose a little bit, but I tried not to be all like, how cheap can I go and right. how much can I double, you know, double question things. I tried to, you know. And you know, were thinking it was how much? How many million? Two, one million? <laughs> For the, to, to, to do the minimum in Stockbridge is um, uh, 78,000 and then and it, it's 100, it's 179,000 to do minimum in everywhere. When I looked at the three buildings, and it they was... they came up with 259 for... Like, so that's when you plus. went through and then dropped I took stuff I out, yeah. Okay. Yeah, so you took, yeah. I mean, so, I, like I said, I do all the So, because this is stock bridge is 140,000 for okay, highest, highest priority, priority to 2 million for full scope. And right, so, and when just, I, so like when I did the suggested suggested. scope, I ended up with a million one for stock bridge. And I ended up with 4 million yeah, seven with million for two. each of the two buildings yeah. here. Yeah. So and that's, that's, but again, that's going through and doing stuff like, okay, we don't really need, 
It talked about this much square foot expansion was the minimum, and then it just made it a little bit bigger. So I cut that down. So and changed Carl did something similar to what's actually already on page one yeah. and two. The mm -hmm. architect's executive summary did a similar thing. He he made some but different you, judgment calls, right, okay. which is understandable. Everybody yeah. would. Like um, but we do have some of that. We have two now, right. which is awesome, because um, Carl's more familiar with this district. So he, you know, um, so so we have some of that and we can and I, I did double check that this stuff in the architect's executive summary matched their spreadsheet totals. Witness though that anybody that wanted to could take a could take a chart like this and then go back into this and say, Whoa, oh, well what about the teacher's bathroom? Whoa, whoa, right. whoa you know, because right. it's, the information is here. Right. So there's so many variables and the variables aren't exact. Yeah, I uh, yeah, right. it really sounds like what's required is a two phase okay. thing, kinda like what you're talking about. Something that gets it down into a and then a second, once once you've got it down, then the second phase, whether that's with input from the public or input from some, whatever. I, but, so you don't have to solve all the problems of the universe right. in one. Right. Know, I think what we're struggling with is. Too. We don't. We haven't. Don't even have that other huge uh, column that, of like ongoing, ongoing costs. Cost. That's right. You know, we're still trying to like grapple with the one time. The one time but that is definitely important to consider. Yeah. Oh yeah. Huge. Oh yeah. Well, like one of the things that I didn't really understand, and this is just my reading, and I had it. Like tried to put the numbers in the column because it was blowing my mind a little bit, but like it really looks like when you look at all the options, you know I, I think like we really need to have the conversation with Rochester because for a lot of these you know when you go beyond just doing the minimum, if you're not going to use this building from that from a lot of this analysis, it's almost like cheaper to just knock them down, you know because okay. the the, the, the you know the roof is shot, the furnace is shot. All the you know all the electric is shot. The the fire the, the 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 if you do any renovations over this much square feet in this building, you're going to have to put in a sprinkler right. system. Mm -hmm. So it's See, like now you're now you're coming up up, up on that thing that no, Wendy and I have issue. been talking with the RSUD board for a couple of years because we knew some of these big ticket items were on the horizon and were you know we'd get right up to thinking about how do we plan for this and then it's like well what if it's not here in four years? We just put. Mm -hmm. Five hundred thousand dollars into a thirty-year heating system that we're going to tear so, down. Yeah. If, if, you, if you think about how passionate, <laughs> yeah, you know, not. Stockbridge is about keeping their building. As, it, as Rochester is of keeping their building. Right. Exactly. Right. So That's I mean, they a, a swallowing a pill of that you're going to knock down right. one of the buildings is going to need to take a right. lot of, of. But I also uh, think supporting documentation yeah. Yeah. that that is the absolute right. bestest thing. In yeah, the yeah, no, and uh, like, that's why I began by saying just in reading in, this, I was really surprised. I didn't couldn't because it blew my mind. But yeah. in, in, well, in the, the one way, it makes sort of sense. You don't have any ongoing cost right. when you got a field on a field. The right. Rotland Island right. and Run Mall is getting knocked down. They just they built that way way after any of our yeah. schools, and right. they're knocking it down. It's more efficient to rebuild. I forgot my question. Sorry. No, no, but it's it just, okay. It, it was, it what seemed pretty important at the time. See, and to Rob's point, and I don't want this, I don't want this to sound crass, but I think oh, the reality God. is, I know very few, if any, people who would make this decision based solely on education. And it's hard for me to force those words out of my mouth. <laughs> right. But finances right. are important to right. all of us. Right. So at and some community. point, and I think those three there's going to the be a, a cost-benefit analysis that's going to have to be done. Right. And I wish I could say we were miles away from the penalty, but we're not. We're not. No. That's got to filter into this somehow. It's a big responsibility, um, It's decisions. A, it is. And I think what we're trying to get, them. Rob, is, and, and I feel this tension myself, we're trying to get... Um, detailed information on a project that we haven't yet defined. Mm -hmm. We've got this list of several projects. Yeah. We need to figure out how do we give people enough information and what is that information so that they can make an informed decision on telling the, the RSUD board, throw out all but these three and then look further at, at these three. Over on the other side of the mountain where I'm on the board, we just authorized an expenditure of $47,000 to do the same very thing. We're now looking at a deeper level on a possible 6th through 8th grade middle school at the Otter Valley site. But we had to go through all of this. What, were the, what would have happened if we renovated Lothrop? What if we renovated Neshebe? Mm -hmm. What if we renovated Leicester? And we had to keep going through these steps to get it down to something we could manage to pay for to get additional information about. And two failed bond votes. And two failed bond votes. <laughs> Good point. I, I, as a voter, yeah. just saying. Yeah. <laughs> okay, my question and, was... And, oh, sorry. And, no, I'm sorry. I just want to make sure you saw... Oh, no, I didn't. Yeah. Uh, 
in this evaluation uh, floodplain cost? Mm -hmm. Yep, that's uh, another one. discussed in the report that mm -hmm. those are not I mean, flood not mitigation. We're talking costs. about tearing down buildings and flood <coughs> mitigation. I'd like to know <coughs> how the floodplain costs relate to this. It's not in there. They are. Um, they reference it. They're clear that flood it's not there. mitigation costs are not included in their report. So that would be an additional if we had right. to do it. Right. right. The other thing that they're very clear about is that uh, they have not, they, they, they did not, were not able to rate the Stockbridge roof for whether it was strong enough for solar. They, don't, they, they, they did not have the, the, the structural right. analysis to put solar on that roof. And it was the same for one of these. One of them didn't, and one of them they thought did. I can't remember which was which. One of them was strong the enough they did. thought the high, school high school didn't or did? We did. I did. And it must be this one that they weren't sure. But I wouldn't know, go, to, go to court with that. Speak to yeah. Joanne. Joanne had My something. only question yeah. was, in your numbers, were you also putting in the addition of the new kitchen uh, and all of that that Rochester High School would get? Is that Yeah. Okay, yeah, the, 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 kitchen, the, the gym, the right. It's going through the. It's it's well. It addition the, or renovation. The for so for if we if we move to the high school, the it, the the numbers that I pulled out of this report, the the column ends with the, their suggested cost before they put in the twenty five percent uh, soft cost for the high school. Uh, BRD says it's four million three hundred and seventy six thousand two hundred and ninety two dollars. Um, you lose. I, I said, well, we're going to take three hundred thousand off that for cleaning the vents and not replacing it. We're going to lose the two grand for the shop eye wash. We're going to have the lighting upgrades. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> but we're talking four million dollars. We're talking four million dollars, and I'm talking and telling you how I reduced that figure. Yeah. Okay. I went through. I went through all the, the a bunch of the numbers and said, you know, we don't need. To, to redo the reception area for thirty thousand dollars, <laughs> we don't need to. Uh, we can we can have the classroom re reworks um, for one hundred and ninety five. So take one hundred and ninety five thousand dollars off the multi purpose room. They say twenty four hundred dollars. Twenty four hundred is the square feet required. They put in a twenty six hundred dollars. So I reduced that a couple hundred feet. So basically, the, to 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 go through and to change to just for me to again go through and try to be yeah that seems dumb and just you know being very Pragmatic, One pass, pragmatic, yeah. not being political, yeah. um, just saying, okay, how can we save money? Because I don't want to spend $5 million if I don't have to. Right. Um, I got it down to, with the 25% soft cost, $4.7 million. Okay, what soft costs mean? I don't know. They add a 25% they, they bump. Like Permits, contingencies, okay. okay. stuff in the wall. And so $4.7 million for the renovation of Rochester High School. That moved, right. That's moved. No, it's, moved. And that's just throwing no, numbers out there. Oh, right. yeah. But I, 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 I was kind of wondering. Correct. That's exactly uh, what, you know. Correct. And then, then the, the, this, I mean, so see, I really thought this building would be the $4.5 million, you know, $4 million building because it's, Needs a roof, and the furnaces are dead, and it's steam heat, and it's blah blah blah. But they're pretty much the same because of the, you know, some of just the general. That's within the issues window over there. there. Yeah. They gave. What if, what if we back? And I'm a details person, but what if we back out of the details and talk about like a relative short-term cost column, a relative long-term cost column, or we just have like an index, like low, moderate, high. That makes that's that for, for our ongoing costs. You know, like that. a short term cost column where we say this has a high short term cost. We're not even putting a number and on it. And maybe a range. With and maybe that a high. range. Maybe like less a, than a million. When we're saying less high, we mean way over a million dollars. We're saying north of five. Okay, million. how is four point you know, seven going to fit into keeping our costs under the? Penalty. That would be high. Yeah. Right. So that would be high. We would I, don't think, I don't think we should worry about that right now, do we? I think we should use pick. this. No, no. Wait. Let me it's finish because I know I yeah. think I'm crazy. I'm going to build on on Bridget's point. I think cricket. cricket. I think at this point. <laughs> I was thinking I have to talk to Bridget in the morning. Um, see, when you're 70, strange things happen to your brain. You guys don't appreciate that yet, but they really do. It happens before 70. Happens when you have kids. Oh, it happens when you have kids. Um, what do you always call Janie? Jenny. What? Jenny. But now I just call her Butch or I call her Frank. Whatever, <laughs> yeah. because I can't think of her name. But building, but, but would, I'm sorry. No, no, would, no, no, would that, as Cricket's explaining it, would that be sufficient, do we think, for community members to look at it and say, okay, two, three, and five out the window? Because they don't cost even, well don't over even get any $2 million. More, dollars. Don't even or, get any more. I don't know. I'm really making up a number. At this point, don't even get any more information about those. I three. think threshold is very important. 
We can but put something in there. it's not an absolute there. threshold. It's, a, it's close. It's, it's a relative it's a best, one. Yes, two and a half million plus or minus 50 percent is mm. brings you up to three, mm. three and three quarter million. So it's you have to be really, really. Whoa! Like, whoa, whoa! Can you whoa, explain what whoa, you just did? I'm confused. Whoa! I don't know well, like, what you said. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> sorry. Like I said, I was like, whoa. these numbers in here. At this point, I mean, putting a, a construction cost estimate on a set of design plans, designers always use plus or minus 25 percent. Putting a construction cost estimate, and that's when you have an entire project planned out, like engineered In detail. to the nets, and you still don't know it within 20 to 25 percent. Wow. Here, I was being generous by saying plus or minus 50 percent. So that's not hard to contemplate when you're saying, okay, 50,000 plus or minus 50 percent. Well, that maybe that brings us up to 75,000 for those priority one items. These are all oh, imaginary numbers. High. Right. Talk or about two and a half million. Do 50 percent plus or minus on that. So, so we can't t even that. We can't say, oh, well, that's our absolute threat. That auction will not cost more than two and a half million. Well, no, that's it's, it's a relative. You know, that's why I'm talking about low, moderate, high, where we give like a relative range for that, but be real clear about saying. Because you don't want to be quoted as one number and then all I of a sudden we look at You know, really be careful with these numbers. Or just say I low, moderate, you, high. You have to have, you know, if so you present general. this to people, you can say, puts, it has to be general yeah, because, because we don't high. know. <laughs> and because if anybody wants to sit and go through this and take yeah, the time to go through this. It differently. Uh, I think really think this two prong, two phase thing you're talking about where you, Rough it out. Right. You know, low, moderate, high. Low, moderate, high. We roughed, moderate, high. Low we roughed it out. High and this is, here's the options we yeah. came up with. Yeah. Figure out some way to get the feedback from it, narrow it down, and then and then find out a way to narrow down on the costs. Right. And maybe, and you it, know, that... possibly engage a professional. I, you have to at some point. Well, yeah. I, I, mean, I, would, come, I would suggest, like, what they did in the executive mm -hmm. summary, mm -hmm. just do point A and point B. This is the absolute minimum. This is the possible absolute high. Instead of having the median number in there, because then that's because we range. Got, you have several plans right there. I so if you add three numbers to each plan, fault. I would say just like do what the they did in summary, because that's easier to understand. Say this is the high end and the low end. It could cost anywhere in between. Range for us. I think that would be easier for the community <laughs> to digest than to have three different numbers say, well, what are these based on and whatnot. Right. Mm -hmm. We could pull, pull the like she's, I'm sorry, I was no. going to say, we could pull the numbers out of this and start it, our chart with that, and then go back and modify them with explanations how we did it. And oh, that would right. take the blame off from us if people ask questions. Where did you pull that number out of? Well, it came out of the study. Well, I think the and thing we have to do. About this to this. Right, I think the right, thing we have like to do that. right from the get-go. We have to say it 150 different times because yeah. even saying it 150 times, there'll be someone who will not think we ever said it. Right. We need to say whatever first cut we take at this. Right. These are ranges. Mm -hmm. So a right. two million dollar cost actually could be anything from one million to three million. Right. And we could say that. All we're putting these broad brush strokes up here to try and get a sense of right. which of these right. do you want the board to further pursue. Right. And these. Mm -hmm seem to be like mm -hmm. hopefully whoever did this did all of them so it's in that person's general they're in a ratio right the lowest they're all the all the schools have the same well wow, same yeah. thought process went into right. it right very true. right so, so that if, right. The, if the person's a little bit higher a little bit right. lower, at consistently least the ratio higher is accurate mm -hmm. i mean right i mean yeah, i know that makes absolutely. a lot of sense. i would totally yeah. always refer back to absolutely. you because so you maybe one column it. is is range relative I cost i don't really call it range good idea it's short term yeah. cost. Short term cost. Another one. Yeah, I think I think yeah. I think that having a I, I like the idea for ongoing cost to be able to say because I think it's very important that we say people don't say that okay well you if we throw the hundred and eighty thousand yeah. or the quarter million dollars or whatever at the buildings Option one. we're good we're very good for you know short term cost we're very, very high, high long term, long -term cost, cost because right. we're we're, yeah. we're still An annual cost right that's yeah. what I mean yeah, yeah. 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 so that we're letting people know that. Right. These low short these low short term costs for for doing the minimum fixes. Years two to we're heating yes. that we're right. heating that high school building till the right. end of time. Right, right, and, and that's what I we can't do. I think another column is like a, a sustainability, adaptability, flexibility for future state mandates that we just have to adapt to. Like, is this one? Uh, does this one give us some ability to adapt to the state saying? You gotta spend less money. We can't support this education. Right, changing tax rate. that equation. 
Right, and then go, well, ha do we ha have we picked an option that is adaptable? Or have we picked one where now we have to just retroactively close one of these buildings and figure it out, like, before August? Right. Yes. Well, that's well, true. That's, that's a very and, good point. And also, okay, I'm not on a board, so I don't know what you guys do to build your budgets. It's not easy, I'm sure. So if we added to your budget right now, we added whatever the bond would be, that portion, that yearly amount, mm -hmm. it's going to be tight, right? That may or may not, or that close, so I can't definitively say it wouldn't, that might put us into a penalty, depending how much we and that is really one of the first the... questions we would ask the community. Yeah. Are right. you okay but with But then the again, so the business Not office could... are taking away educational opportunities. <coughs> right. The business office could help us with that because they could mm -hmm. say, okay, a $3 million bond, based on what we're looking at right now, you stay below the penalty ne next year. Right. That's about the best they could tell us would right. be next year. On a $6 million bond, you go over the penalty right. next year. By law. Right. So that would be, I think, an important piece of information right, that would exactly. help people. So but, I don't know that we'd want to call it the column, the penalty, but we'd want to have some piece of information that lets us know if a bond of X. So what's our bondableness? Is that even a word? Yeah, that, I, yeah. that's, that's Bondability. It. Bondability. How Bondability. much can we bond for right, without well, getting into be? difficulty? Right. Uh, is bonds a fixed interest rate? Every or depending no, it, on the amount changes. of bonds you take depends on. I mean, right, like, what is our what what's the that's repayment? That's like uh, the those are, you're those like, are, talk, to, talk to Paul Giuliani those at the are bond bank. Willis questions <laughs> too. Right, right. and usually they cast that over like a, they find the average property value in a town and they say this is let's say it's a six million dollar bond. This is what it will yeah. do on a hundred and fifty thousand dollar house. It'll raise it. Right, right. that's what happened with the error the state or whatever right. error right. and that's why our certain people's uh, taxes went up 18 percent right. because yeah, we don't want to do, we that, don't right. do right. that so because that was what happened right right see and um, that is going to help us continue to refine the direction in which we head right so there's that other third thing education emotional attachment in the community and money mm -hmm. So we have, those are the three things we have to remember. Right, right. So, Carl, when you gave that $4.7 million for the, um, what was it, for the Rochester Elementary School? Yeah, there, was in like, be, there were like 20 grand of each other. To be in the high school? To be in the high school or to and be in the was that with was that with what they show here with uh, all these changes that they show here? Because there's a lot here that I, that, Pretty much. I mean, I took down. Like I don't I said, think we would have to do ever. I mean, they they're, they show the principal's office and administration office being moved out of where it already is and creating a new room for it. Like, I don't know if we would necessarily would we do, do that. Yeah, and no, no, and then that's where, like, they, 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 they I mean, I shared the, the the document with you, so you can see. You know, like I said, the multi I, I reduced the classroom work rework by half. I reduced the, the multi-purpose room to what they said the state minimum was. You know, I there were some parking changes that I said we didn't need to do. They wanted to rework the, the high school entrance. I still think. So, but I mean, the big piece is is that it's just you know is is that. You know the yeah. the the, the yeah. scope yeah. seems to be for both of those projects in their mind somewhere around four million dollars. And what you've done, which is awesome, is confirmed there was kind of their mm -hmm. executive summary uh, pull out of those numbers. But I don't I don't know as I'm super glad you did that. But I don't know as we need to go further. We've yeah, got it's near the, back. Right. the architects pull out. We've got yours. As right, right. And I, I think it's it's, it's a worthwhile exercise so if you want to just look at it and see here. see what I did yeah. and, right. and run through it yourself if you're bored. Right, and you might come up with 4.8 or you know yeah, somewhere but else I mean, between two and five right. and a half. But I don't know if that's what we need to spend. No, time right. on I think we need to. I think we need to 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 look at. Um, just, do we want I think understanding, not, I think one of the biggest it? questions that, that this raised for me was, you know, following up on, on uh, uh, her Jess suggestion, Jess, Jess. Jess's uh, suggestion from, from, you know, reach out to Rochester. Do you want a building? <laughs> and and, 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 and see if we can, you know, and see if that's, that's well, something that's realistic exactly. and that they're interested in doing. Right. What is the cost of kind of as is? using both buildings what is the real cost of you know we have the resources as if it's going to cost us four million dollars to be in 
one building or the other, what does it cost for us to continue to be in both buildings? Is it only 200000 This year, but... Right. Right, and so that's week, the question. So then, where's right. what's what's what are the costs up ahead, and right. well, how much can you? That's right. Term. Is that what you call? And the other piece right. about that, the annualized cost. No, it's okay. The other piece about that the long term we have to remember is that these buildings got in the condition they're in because there was no preventative maintenance. Done. No money. So right. we spend this upfront mm. money and we get them in good shape. Then we're going to have to continue to maintain them, or somebody's going to look back 15 years from now and they're going to be in the exact same shape they are right now. Right. Exactly. So, so what about another I just question? Hang on, what's good? You got somebody uh, behind you. When you do, hi. <laughs> when you do, re if you do reach out about seeing if Rochester wants the school, I notice that the school parcel isn't divided. So yeah. you would have to mm -hmm. figure out if the town was going to be responsible for paying for surveying and division, or would the school district be responsible yeah. for doing that to provide that for the town. The other question that's come up in other towns is, do you have to go through the Act 250 process because it's probably going to end up being less than 10 acres? So that's another cost we have to put somewhere. Mm -hmm. yeah. Right. Right. But I think that's. I don't think we have to yeah. get I don't there yet. That. No, but that it's option would end in subdivision. It would end in either the school or the town owning, and then the other entity leasing would some, be leased. So well, I was in a budget meeting today's. earlier today, but that's a really good and I raised this question. And uh, there, there was um, everybody in the budget meeting had some sense of what the costs were. Not they had said that, was, that there was a lot of work needed in the high school, and that was the first thing that came up. I would be very surprised if the town of Rochester rushed forward to pull the irons out of the fire. Given, I mean, because we're doing the budget, we get down to Rochester and squeezing everything right now. So I, I have a hard time imagining that as a realistic. I'm not saying they wouldn't, because the emotional thing you're talking about is a powerful thing. Um, but but would they want to lose it? Yeah. You know, it's, it's gonna be, we're talking about a lot of money. Yeah, there's, you know, and yeah. these things are people voting down the bond issue. It happened, it happened twice up in uh, yeah. Hayward, wherever it was. Uh, and they want a $30 million, you know, but still. Um, and and I think, Joanne, the only way we're going to get an answer to that question you just asked is to get in front of the communities. Because we all think at this point we know about some things, and we probably know we more do. about some things we than do. others. We but do. until we get in front of the community, we don't know for sure. And are they willing to give up this building and have it torn down or well, whatever? And like in our town, like we've had a Christmas program there yeah, at the meeting house. Like, that is such an emotional attachment to people that have lived there forever, right? right. Like generations. Right. Like if someone said, "We're going to take, we're going to tear that meeting house down because we can't afford it anymore," right. it would be devastating, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I understand why losing the auditorium and the, the history and using it is devastating. I get it. But I would never ask Rochester to pay for the meeting house. Just saying. Yeah. Is it available? <laughs> but you know what? The, the, tax pay, not, the taxpayers don't even pay for it. It's, yeah, no, privately, it's owned. privately owned. But the big question to me... But, just, but no, I think we should really ponder this, right? The, the, like the why question, should Stockbridge pay? Why, for should, a, why, should, why should anybody pay? Why, why do the... Why, right? I mean, at some level, the voters of Rochester are going to have to say, is it worth the dwindling... And mm -hmm. you know, the SU has the figures of the dwindling... Right. Uh, is it worth popping for this kind of money? Because they haven't finished paying for that building yet. Uh, mm -hmm. For the number of students we have, and and the way things are going, is this kind of expense? Is it really worth? It? We want to have a school that much. Well, I think that's a conversation mm -hmm. both towns need to have. Is yeah. is what if the population of of Vermont our student population continues to fall as is projected? What are we going to do right. as a town? What do we individually? Right. Hopefully, we don't ever have to make that decision. But I think but we are showing right will. now. But but I was going to say, yeah. I, question, right right. Right. I think yeah. Julianne's, to Julianne's point, what I would argue is that we're already there. We are there. Because yeah. I don't know how many exactly, I don't have it at the tip of my tongue, how many kids we were off in this count that kicked us into the penalty. I mean, yeah, but it wasn't money. a ton. So, all right, so one family could 18. move out and we're there again. We're well, three I don't families think one, could move out and we're right there right. again. And here's the other thing that we're going to we're going to have to grapple with, and I just bring it up for the point of information, is that the state is changing its way of funding special education. Yeah, They're going to give school right. a fixed amount. Right. And local dollars are going to have to pay for all the rest. Oh, wow. wow. Right. And that's I've going to add that. a significant amount of money mm -hmm. to local yeah. budgets. And now, one of the things that might argue for that building versus this building, and again, I'm making no recommendations, but 
Every school district is going to look at the number of kids they're tuitioning out to special programs and try and build those programs in their own district because it's a difference between 30000 and in some cases $100,000 to have a child out of district. Special programs. Special programs. Mm -hmm. for So flexibility is certainly one of the criteria I think we want to keep in our mind. Um, but when we... Um, I think we have kept flexibility in our mind when we put these six or seven together. Mm -hmm. It's going to be one of the things we are going to want to talk about when we present information, that we've right. got to maintain as much flexibility now, as we can. Do, you know, speaking of that and speaking of this idea that maybe we're on a timeline and you're concerned that we're already there, that starts begging the question of if we need more space in a Stockbridge. Are we going to, uh, are, are we served by putting on an addition, or are we served by renting or, or leasing a, 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 a mobile classroom, a temporary classroom? Are we served with looking at some of these really short term, you know, I mean, not a 30 year roof, but what is there, you know, or not a replacing an entire uh, heating system in, in a high school, but cleaning it and saying, okay, yeah, this stuff is end of life, mm -hmm. but if I can kick these furnaces down the, down the road for five more years because they still work, mm -hmm. <laughs> do I want to do that to save my money as best I can? Because saving the money and not bonding it out and not dumping it into into long-term uh, 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 renovations that we may not be able to take advantage of, but is doing that, is that going to give us more years of running a school because we, we haven't incurred a long-term mm -hmm. long debt. We haven't, you know, we've, 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 we've tried to say, let's, let's just keep going with this and let's rent something to put outside stockers to solve that space problem rather than, you know, building 2,000 square feet at, at 350 that, bucks a square foot. Yeah, I don't think it's a Stockbridge issue. I mean, but I mean, I no, I'm just, that I'm just picking that as, an, as an example. But. I'm just thinking the big question is, what are we going to do here? Like, one building, two buildings, which building? That's really it. I mean, right? That's just kind of it. Yeah. I and mean, that's like the big, that's the big, that's big the, one. Well, that's the, long, that's right? the biggest right. long go, right. ongoing right. expense right. is heating that building. Right. You know, but I, I think to kind of drag us back on the point, all these conversations are what's going to come up when we present this exactly. to the community. Exactly. So it's so really good that we get through them. But it's good that we're having right. them, but how are we going to present? Okay, you're right. Get uh, I, I enjoy all these conversations, but, but I also going. know. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, we yeah. just... We're not going to solve them, and they're conversations we need to have with both communities right. in a room right. together. Right. Right. And, and to facilitate those conversations, we need to provide facts. Right. right. Well, and that's, 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 what, that's why I'm bringing up the idea right. of having right. some information on, you know, because one of the things well, this, this this report does do is it's long, and I, I, I think I said, I tried to say this last time, I probably didn't do a good, do a good job of it, but this report really talks about these buildings as, you know, when it talks about the, fixing them, it talks about fixing them for a 30, you know, for another generation lifespan right. versus... Like, well, yeah. said, replace everything. Mm -hmm. not to some extent, those repaired. detailed costs are, they are in here. They're hard to find, but they are. So if someone, if we just give some, like, low, moderate, high ratings here, and if someone really wants to dig deeper, yes, it's one group of consultants' interpretation, but at this point, that's, it's, it's decent. It's what we have, and it's, you've verified it to be, you know, Close, yeah. in the ballpark. So they, they can dig deeper. So in here, I think we need to keep it super simple, like short-term yeah. cost, long-term yeah. cost, and a sustainability index, low, moderate, high. And, just and, the, and, some, and the, you know, bondability. Bond, you know, sure. Sure. How close? I, I, I don't think it's a word. There is a word, but I don't know what it is. Bondability, I think. Well, and I, 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 slash, wrote, I wrote in my notes, I call slash tariff. equalize per pupil, like mm -hmm. how that <laughs> impacts our penalty or well, the pressure. Right. And yeah. then, close to a red and flag. And is it important for the communities to stay under the penalty? Maybe it's not. Maybe we haven't read that right. Yeah. Right. Oh, Who knows? Awesome. Who knows how emotional it is, you know, to whatever. Keep your little school. Keep That's a good point. We don't know, no. really. Right. No. Mm. Like, yeah, we don't. But I so did, that would give us three columns. I'm sorry, go ahead. You were saying something. No, I, I did have a parent say to me, though, I said, well, if we surveyed people, Mm -hmm. uh, the feedback was, don't just give us, like, our our one description with no information. I don't think they wanted line item by line item, but they just felt like the last time there was a survey done, it mm -hmm. just was one too simplified, too simplified well, and it was yes or no, and they kind of wanted yeah. a little bit Do you want more. your kids in town? Yes. Right. Yes. I guess yeah. that's what Who I, I don't, that? <laughs> that's yeah. what Who it sounded like it was. Exactly. Right. So, so I think what? these columns... 
yeah. important. Is there, a th I mean, we've <laughs> so we have three. About three. Is there a fourth or yeah. fifth? Or? Uh, okay, so, yeah, are there any of these that we would eliminate? Right we have to top. let the towns do that. I don't well, think we uh, should. But we were saying tonight there might be some that. Is just but not. I do agree if we don't the voters say it to everybody, then there will be a okay. portion of the I'm, voters I'm who say, well, that. you didn't look at my, what I'm passionate about. And why that's another thing we could go. Why didn't you look at my eyes? That's fine with me. Because I think they'll thin out pretty quick. Yeah, right. You give them eight choices we have here, and, and that just soon. also shows that we're really thinking about everybody and yeah, trying to. Yeah. Right. Yeah. right. And I, I mean, I think it's I think it's okay not to put a ton of work into fleshing out a lot of a lot of options. Like I, you know, I, I didn't get a chance to go and average some tuitions, but I think the closing closing all the schools, we just need to ballpark that. I don't think we need to really show a, a you know a detailed because that's not what people want. I mean, the, the when we when we merge these two these two towns together. You know, the biggest thing people that, I, that at least that I got was that we wanted to have a, a school in each town. And so I think that, you know, that's where we should be starting and, 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 and working right. from. And, you know, and going from there and some of the, I think some of the, 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 the outlier ideas we should be addressing just to show we're complete versus, right. like, I don't think we're going to build it. I don't think we're going to build a $30,000. Uh, Mike Ketcher would love to sell us those three acres that are that straddle the, the Rochester Stockbridge line. <laughs> but I don't think we're building a, a, a $10 million by, building there. I really thought about this on my commute. Where would it be? I, th I know. What, I just said don't line? go down the no. rabbit hole. What are you but a new building. A oh, new where would it be? Because don't I'm driving and I'm like, I know. is that a floodplain? Is that river. a floodplain? It looks like it's a floodplain. Well, but anyway, like <laughs> sorry. Yeah. Marvin awesome. Harvey told okay. me when they were go building this high school, they were also building the Bethel High School at the same time. And they were building, uh, which was what, the 70s? All of our buildings were in the 70s. All of them, mm -hmm. like in all of our towns. And there was talk about doing one central school right, 100, 107. Right, right around the Stockbridge. It was where Advanced Animations is. I was right. going to say, wasn't yeah. it up on the hill up here? Mm -hmm. Right. And, I remember and it very well. You do, okay. Me and Marvin. <laughs> <laughs> so I just thought that was so very awesome. interesting <laughs> that, you know, and here, yeah. here we are, everybody consolidating so yeah. down you, the road. If you, know? you were sitting in the audience, if we were sitting in the audience and we were looking at these list of eight things and we were trying to n decide which ones aren't worth pursuing anymore, what would we want to have over over here in this column to help us make that decision. We've got short-term costs, long-term costs, variability. Or, yeah, what would we like, What would we be sitting there thinking, I could answer this question better if I knew? Should we make a column that speaks to community, or is that already? I don't think you can quantify that. I don't yeah. think no, you can't quantify Equalized. Because of one person's community is idea right, of community right. is another person's right. idea. Yeah. Yeah. Population. But I think it's these, these all speak the, to that anyway. The, penal, the, the, the threshold that the equalizes threshold yeah. Yeah. But yeah. Yeah. taking care of and very. I don't know. Can we um, generalize, or, or do you want to get right down into the tuition part for that one um, tuition? Uh, I mean, close everybody up in, yeah. in tuition amount. Right. I think that will be a, unless uh, I can see people, particularly old grumpy retired people, saying. Ah, I don't want to no, but it's just got to be an option, right? I think so. the best way probably to do that, Joanne, would be to take all of the schools which our youngsters attend, right? average those tuitions right. out, and multiply it by the number of did. actual kids, I not, our, did. It, not our uh, equalized not the tuition pupils, but our actual right. kids. Right, but so right. say there's 200 students, pre-K through 12, right? Mm -hmm. About 200, because we have more high school kids. Oh, but you know where we're going to get? We're going to have to get another fact is most of, uh, we don't tuition any elementary kids, and the elementary tuitions are typically less than the high school tuitions. What do you mean we don't They're tuition? They're about the same these days. Uh, 16 for elementary, 18,000. No, we don't tuition any elementary kids out. Like, we don't send... No, we know. No, but if we you took the she number of kids, yep. 200 kids, yep. right, pre-K through 12, elementary is about 16,000, a little high. Okay. Uh, secondary is 18,000. Okay. The average is 17, right? right. So, six, so 200 times 17,000 is about 3,400 a year. I mean, that's rough. And what's right? the budget now? 44. 4, 4, 4.4 million. Are you saving big money? Same. And there wouldn't be any kids around. <laughs> Which is not a great thing. I'm just saying. Uh, you would lose. The, you know, keep, keep in mind. <laughs> keep in mind that uh, there's there's a, a, a revenues that are that are built into there in terms of uh, um, 
uh, small schools grants, revenue that, 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 that would right. be lost. And, right. and, right. uh, Which is going to be gone in five years anyway. And you're still going to have no, small schools. You're still going to have small schools. Small schools the buildings aren't going to go away. Until they take them away. Even knocking them down. They're going to sell them to you. You can sell a house here. Amazing. Sorry. Just within this whole conversation, you know, there's so many people that are that the state should be more responsible for, for helping, yeah. is to give a better picture of how the state recognizes that if climate change is real, mm -hmm. and we have people all over the United States giving up and they're gonna move someplace, here. all of a sudden we have a population explosion mm -hmm. in the state of Vermont. Not here. Hmm? Never here. I wouldn't take that. Uh, I don't know about that. Uh, I've been it's hearing. It's a good theory, but I've been hearing quite oh, yeah. a bit no. about people no one's moving throwing in the towel. But, well, that does speak to the flexibility, right? Of of we do need to be flexibility on flexible on both ends. We need yep. to be prepared for a population drop. We need to be prepared for a population swing. I I do have to. I, I understand what you're saying, Mike. My, my sister is uh, around 30. She are your kids about that age? Mm -hmm. Um. Did they have a, a large population in there? Tons. It was a huge population, that age group. So that age group is starting to have babies now? Baby boomers, grandchildren. So yeah. are we going to see that? I don't know. We might not. I but is something people that, are having children. Yes, but yeah. that was a larger group. Yeah. So we might average back out to the normal. So but flexibility. Flexibility. Right. So flexibility, yeah. flexibility though, I think, so is important. We need to not. No so jobs, should that be a no column, people. or is that what variability is? Did I write the wrong <laughs> no. word? Flexibility. Is it or flexibility? Well, it used to be at one point that a lot of people moved here because of education mm -hmm. to Vermont. It could be that the next move to Vermont is good because it's environmentally safer than a lot of other places. It's just, just it's just a fact that Vermont's sitting in a sweet spot in the climate arrangement. But there's also a, lot, a mass exodus going there's on. There's no jobs. Financially, oh, the jobs will come. Families people. are being choked out. The, um, yeah, the, I think biz that the business manager in the district that I live in just put out the Vermont um, population projections, and they went through a very detailed explanation of how they got them. For Washington County, every um, a, a child-bearing age group is dropping significantly mm -hmm. over the next 12 to 14, 15, 20 years, mm -hmm. according to their projections. Mm -hmm. I don't know that something <laughs> won't change, but at this point, that's what they're well, saying. Yeah, the possibility of importing the, the people who are having kids <laughs> is what is so going to happen. So, you have 10 more kids? Let, let right. Mason finish them, then, then she can go ahead. Now, we're, oh, sorry. So, so, sorry, Mason. I grew up in the Adirondacks, and I was there when there was a lot of issues with mass exoduses. Mm -hmm. And what I'm seeing in Vermont is going down the same so rabbit nice. hole yeah. that happened to the Adirondacks. Yeah. So no offense, great idea, Mason, but I think we need to prepare for more lower Mm -hmm. Similar community. It's a national trend. It isn't just it's a national trend. Right, it's a national oh, trend, but especially in, in rural. Chittenden uh, County is the only one. Environmentally in those friendly areas. places. Yeah. The government yeah. chokes out, County. especially right a lot of locals. And you <laughs> yeah. see it a lot in Stockbridge where it's kind of become a, a runoff of like Killington, where there's a larger thing. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So we have three columns. Are we thinking we need another one? Do we want to use this document? How are we going to I think we. I, I like. I, I think we should start filling this document in. And if we find we need another column, let's add it. I think okay. it's not. I think we're getting. We're 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 starting to get too too kind of picky Okay. Mm -hmm. So, but I think I think putting starting to complete this and and. Uh, I don't know whether we want to try to do it as a shared document or whether we wanted to send information to someone to 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 compile. So we can be looking at it and thinking about where we're at. My fourth was about the, I keep hearing about the penalty. Like, I think it's a valid point. I think for some people it's a really big deal of whether we're over the threshold. And I think it is in Stockbridge. Right, and some Carl people it's not. Yeah. I mean. And then the definition of what Only button, exactly budget that. Right. Down. They know in Stockbridge what it means. Well, how are we going to able to factor that in, But though. if you have to, if you, you figure could. out that, you're gonna have to take a bond out the bond, for right. this then much. Well, I figure that's part of our bondability, yeah. though. Right. So it, that's why I kind of just didn't know if you could do it for every single. I, I don't well, know. Maybe you can. I, maybe you can't. But I think we gotta. 
Put it in there. Yeah. Put it in there. That we're conscious of and that. And it's not even bondability, but if you're all of a sudden putting $150,000 every single year into the budget for... Buildings. Yeah, buildings. And that's, and that's on the short, and that's on the... That's on the small side. That takes away some opportunities I'd for be kids willing to avoid going over the threshold. Mm -hmm. I'd be willing to call Tara and see if we can get a handle on okay. what we would put in this conference. Right. Like if the relative cost was three point six million over thirty years, what's that in principle? What's that in interest? All we could do is add it to this year's budget because we don't know what next year's budget. There could be less revenues. There could be more expenses. Right. It'll be right. a different place what in the happens, mix. What happens if the kids, if the numbers shrink even more, and then we're forced to not have schools anymore? We still obviously have to pay that bond. So is it still forty sixty? I mean, is that it'll be forever, like until know. it's paid out? Yeah, I, I, don't know, I, don't I mean, know, it must I, be. I don't know what the details are on, on and bonding. And when it's you know five million on one building and in you know, 500,000 on the other, that's going to be a tough pill for one town to swallow. Right, but that's, that's I think that's figuring out, you know, how bonds work. Oh, I, I, get I it, but I do think it's something important. No, it, is, no, it, absolutely, it absolutely is, just being able, to, being able to answer knows. that question. And then, yeah, like, sir. you know, what happens to that? Like, right. Some towns right. have defaulted because they've just run out of money. They don't, not we necessarily can. in Vermont, but there's yeah. been some small towns in Massachusetts and Connecticut. Well, I mean, I mean, one of the one of the things is, you know, the way that Act 46 is structured. If uh, if uh, if if the town of Rochester or the town of Stockbridge agreed that one of their that those schools should be closed, you know, that town then has the option to get that building for a dollar. Um, and yeah, if the town to? tries to sell that building. All the the improvements done within the previous five years, the town has to pay back to the school district. Right, right. But be but you know the the the, the big question would be, um, if you know the, if there's a big bond to, to to do a lot of work on on either our building or your building or any building in this district, and then the building you know if the bond if the bond is unbalanced, then the building is turned over to the town. Right. Is 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 that equitable? So I don't know I don't know if you could bond if. You know, if if the assets if, if if the assets are in two different towns, if the bonds, do, 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 are the bonds assessed across the district or are the bonds assessed by the town? That's a bigger and question. And I think yeah, I think as I think yeah. as we move forward, those are all questions I mean, we're going to have to question. figure I mean, out. If you think about in our or town, the board's if, gonna have to if figure our out. taxes, if if the town and you did budgets all day, can mm -hmm. you imagine adding that payment into your budget? That town's so yeah. extra. It's. Right. I deal with them on right. So you know. Time. So there, yeah. there goes the salt. There goes the sand. There yeah. goes see in that new comes, truck. And that brings us I back because no when we sit in a town, if the school budget pays for it, it comes out of your left pocket, and if the town pays for it, it comes out of your right pocket. It's but it's it all, all comes out of our the town's exactly. pocket. Exactly. Right. And that's bringing us back again yeah. to at some point. I think the question will be asked in both communities. What is it that we can afford? We want to educate Isn't our youngsters that awful? well. Back to that, it's true. Yeah, it but it's people's ability to pay. And I, I, I said in the beginning of our first meeting that I've tried to form these two questions that I try and keep in my thinking as I'm doing this work. And that is, how do we educate our youngsters as well as we possibly can yep. at a cost that our communities can afford? Right. Mm -hmm. Back and to what was contentious at the beginning of this meeting. I think one of the things that I was thinking about or or asking to maybe be put on the table is the idea that if it became impossible or the state mandated that that say one of the communities if it you know if it was Stockbridge didn't have what they weren't allowed to continue to try to make it work would it be preferable to at least be able to go to Rochester versus having to go somewhere completely outside of yep you know it's what an it, option it, but I it's think, an option for all but then we're really. going to put five million dollars in a building in rochester and who knows if that goes up and then we're paying a five million dollar bond in rochester see i think so i think I that's got to be i think fair. that's the quandary we're caught in it's a big decision right, right. and i, I hope know. that everybody understands that, that we've got to take care of our we've got to take and help but we can't we can't use one another. No. Mm -hmm. We can help each other, but we can't be used by each other. Right. 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 And I think so, that bonding question 
is important to know. Right. To be able to put in footnotes, like this is what it looks like under Act 46 now. Because right. it is something different that we've right. never crossed. Right. So I will community. tackle getting and, and, that information and honestly, for us. Honestly, if the Rochester bonds. wants to do that, more power to them. And then when they have this fabulous school, maybe our kids will choose to go to Rochester. Right. Right? So we True could, that. That, that's something we all should let us go. Let us go and make the choice to send our kids right. to Rochester. But again, that's not in the bailiwick. No, but maybe that should here. be. Maybe I that mean, should be option nine. Well, what Seriously. option nine is, is you're saying option nine Unmerge. should be? Unmerged. Unmerging. Yep. And then when, and then you fix your building, you pay for your building, and we'll come because we want to come, not because we're paying for it, because we're forced to pay for it. I because just don't think, Joanne, that's within our charge. I, except I, I know it's what really saying. the elephant in the room. Right. And because maybe you the, have more votes than we do. Right. And well, maybe that involves the state. I mean, it's not like we can get together and say, yeah, yes. But I'm let's, worried. oh, well, no, it didn't, there's, I've already looked into it. I know how we can do it, but you've got to let us go. You've got to let us free. How would we do that? Vote. Now, why would we do that? Exactly. Why would well, I'm of a different but opinion? But why wouldn't you because, do it? Because <laughs> I'm going to just bring us back here because no, I'm just really, looking at the No, I really time. want this answer before I leave tonight. I don't know that there is one. Today. I think it needs to be addressed. What's, what is the question you want to answer? My question is, why wouldn't, why, as one of our options, let us go? Let Stockbridge out of the merge. And see what the financial implications from that Because would be. honestly, Is if, that what you, you want to yes. see the financial Because well, small because school grants would go away, which is And how thing. much is that? 200 and Probably a couple hundred thousand. 51, but 50, 50 schools in the state have decided not to merge. Why? I mean, there's reasons. There's reasons, but think about that. Well, I mean, some, some of the reasons, some of the reasons here, are like, you know, uh, uh, there's no, there's no one next to Sharon for Sharon to merge with, for example. So there's a lot of states oh, that couldn't please. move because they can't. So they um, lost their small schools grant, and they're they okay did. with that. And they're doing fine. I mean, $200,000 a year, that's what, so it would be 100000 for each town? No. I'm not sure what the, the, the exact, what the, uh, the exact uh, 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 split is. But That's what I thought it was, 68000 uh, But I'll tell you um, what, 68000 for Stockbridge is a lot cheaper than paying a bond payment for a building in your town. And, and I think, like you were talking about, that is a conversation that the town, it's that population. As it's dwindling, the towns have to decide what is going to be exactly. best for them and to be ready that should it get so low, what does the town want to do? Do they want to, to break away? Well, with 44 kids in our town right now, do we want a $5 million expense? Well, we don't in know another that town. That quite if yet. we went there, though. Sure. But that's the same question. Does Rochester, for 99 kids or whatever it is, do they want to have? Well, that's right. That's right. Question. That's exactly yeah. right. But at least it's in your town. So we that have option, nothing. That right. Well, we don't. But see, right again, we don't know. I, I think we're jumping to the, 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 the conclusion that the way the bonds work is that it's going to be bonded to the district. And not to the town. You know, not, and, and, and not to the town. Right. And that the, 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 the unbalance here. is going to be. A five million dollar bond, or a four point seven million dollar bond, uh, for Rochester, and a, and a one point one million dollar bond for no, Stockbridge. Because, because, yeah, I mean, we could throw another million dollars into whatever we wanted to do in Stockbridge. Put solar on the roof, put massage rooms in, and that still wouldn't get to that sixty forty split. Um, so certainly, I, I, I understand that that. What? You know, Wait! Whoa! Whoa! Whoa. What do you mean by the sixty forty? Well, just the general, just the general, the the, the general idea of that. That um, the, the balance of things is around 60 40 before the towns. Okay. I'm recognizing that this report talks about, in general, to get the buildings to quote suggested somewhere, yeah. you're around $4.7 million for either one of these two buildings, um, and then you're $1.1 million for the Stockbridge building. So you're not. You, you don't have that same sort of equity that you do in terms of student count, in terms of population. Well, do you know matter. what that is? Doesn't matter. 60 40. No, what it would be with the one million and the four million? It's like eighty-one, eighteen, or something 81, okay. like that. Eighty-two percent, eighteen percent. But what I'm saying is, would if if that that should be an option that we discuss? Because every person that I've talked to in Stockbridge has said, why would we do that? It's a it's an and option answer, we should put a price tag to. Yeah, and the answer is <laughs> we're stuck. And they're well, like, no, we can add it as an option, but I don't think the answer is we're stuck. I think that's that's. 
jumping to a lot of oh, assumptions down the road. Oh, I don't know. I mean, would they get? Le I mean, would would Rochester let us go? I would. I don't know. Would they? I would. I don't know. I, I appreciate that, Amy. Because I really I, do. I, because I'm not. But one, Rob would If people don't want to be part of, be together. Right. Then I then fine. But I so want the majority. You say, and, Unmerge. If we're going to put this as an option, I think we should to figure out financially. Do you mean unmerge as a Oop. district? I understand that piece. Sorry, sorry. let me <laughs> clarify. Unmerge and Stockbridge goes to school twice. Like so well, now it gets that into I, I, that would, but be it this. changes the financial yep dollar amount. Yep. So I think then that, mean, that would have to be discussed that way. Okay. Unmerge and and shut the school down. Unmerge and keep and the, keep the school. The, yeah, the school two right. different. Okay. Yeah, that was. Fresh. But I, I truly don't think we can. That okay. we would. I don't think everyone would agree with you, Amy. I think the important piece we'd want to know if we unmerged was would be could either school operate at un, all unmerged right. because mm -hmm. they might both kick into the penalty. And so we were which fine, would be before, fine without the sixty-five that or whatever the school. Right. Um, but we're also paying for the debt. So the debt is what? How much is it a year? Sixty-five thousand. Your debt. Sixty. Sixty thousand in the small schools grants. What? Sixty-five. Mm. So yeah. it's kind well, of. You, well, you received um, one hundred and fifty-eight from. Of, uh, we ha came in with one hundred and fifty-eight, and you guys came with sixty-eight. I might be a little bit wrong with those numbers, but it's right. pretty close. Right. And so we put them together into well, a we pool could, and got right. That and money. our town also pitched in nine thousand. For the private okay. funds, sure. I mean, we could go back and forth, but I'm just saying, it should be an option. Okay. Sure, I'm, and, and we can certainly we can certainly put so it on the list. I think the big thing we need to, to reach out to is. Those. I got it right here. Yep. Okay. I'm not clear. I don't know how to figure that out. Um, where, where the uh, AOE and the state board? It's all happening all this? over the state. Right, but I think we need to understand where, where the state board stands in this. Yep. Because I think one of the things that I've had a problem with people um, in Stockbridge in particular um, have been saying, well, you know, they're, they're, they're forgetting that when Rochester voted to become a K-6, the, the, the Secretary of Education said flat out, that she didn't care about whether or not we were we were uh, independent or not. If Rochester was a K six, she would merge us. That was you know that was the statement from the she's, Secretary of Education. She's at the not time. there now. She's not. So. But, my, but no. Well, <laughs> yes. Changed. The point being the and point being she's if she. She's running for governor. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> the point being though, what what is the 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 the, the lay of the land in terms of. Getting can we out. can we do that? Yeah, great questions though. You know, we should we ask to, them. Sure, exactly. And I'm saying that that's let's 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 get that investigated. Right. So we know we're we're not sitting here saying, oh yeah, we can you know we can we can always just just unmerge and understanding what the state's going to let us do. And, and then we have and aware. then we can make the decisions. Sure. No, absolutely. Right? And that way we have the answer. No, we do. And that, so is, that, that is a way, fine thing to have our an answer town to. Can, and your town, we all can be educated on what our choices are. Right. Not Which just throw in a perfect. packet and say, we have to make this decision, and these are, this is why. And then we find out half of them are wrong. Right. And that's important to the people in Stockbridge. Mason? Um, option 9, <laughs> option 10, Rochester can revisit the issue of becoming an independent school. And re this could solve the issue around either tearing the buildings down or expanding ourselves to be including students from around the world. But, see, it's... And that's a, I, I, that's a great idea. I don't, I, well, I do see how we can get some costs on, on this other option. I'm not sure how we could get costs. And I think that's what we are trying to do is well, not really well, tell everybody there is a box of stuff that we can do. <laughs> you know, uh, any idea out there? Let's get some colleges in here. Let's. I'm gonna go back to our costs. charge, which is to <laughs> understand. <laughs> right, it's supposed to come out of the report to, to, to <laughs> understand What's the, the report, report and and figure so out a way to, to present it. These may the come report. up. On merging, may come up. Becoming an independent school may nine. come up. I wanted this option. I do. Um, I, really do. I actually broke it into two, Joanne. I Thank said on merge so and sh and you know allow Stockbridge students to have school choice and unmerge and keep this. Of course, I'm saying this. I'm like. 
firing you at the same time. <laughs> 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 no, I don't feel that way. Go work somewhere else. <laughs> right, so I like, think the important thing is to just look at everything okay. and. No, absolutely. I appreciate that very much. So and whether and whether on merging means that Rochester looks at being an independent real school real or not, I'm not sure if we yeah, want to get to that level of granularity. On, yeah. But I think I think saying, you know, can we unmerge and uh, you know, short of, because it may well be that. Uh, but you might be able to break that down to short-term costs, long-term yes. costs. Right, you might exactly. be able to break it into. I don't know. I I don't know enough about it. I'm going to be very. Well, sorry, we may well find that I, I think that you know putting the cho choices on the sheet, we may well find that we can't get the information to accurately represent one of the choices. I feel like we're going into a different universe. I, we're I leaving the. Oh, it's our, the biggest we're, question we're in Stockbridge the for the Stockbridge people. I it really I don't truly live in is. I'm, I'm, I know, but I'm just telling you, I am representing everybody, but I'm also wearing a Stockbridge hat. And when you are looking at this and the money and the future. I'm saying that there was a charge which is driven by this document. And I'm saying that. Mm -hmm. This document that doesn't include unbuilding the, the merge. I want it uh, included. I think it should I know, be. I, I know you do. I hear you. Good. I hear you. I I'm just glad. Don't, I just don't see it in here. And it seems to me to be okay. another uh, package of information, uh, 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 something tangential. That I'm not sure would help the effort. If we well, had a I could be completely meeting, wrong. If we had a community meeting, nine out of ten people would say that. Well, God bless them. I think it's. I think. I think having the you know putting the row on the list is is a valuable exercise. If we can't complete the row, we can't complete the can't okay. complete the row. At least we can. I, I you know I think the most important thing are you know Fair is enough. to remember that our well, charge is to understand enough. this document and to unpack that to you know. As I said earlier, I think the, one of the biggest points at the at, during the course of the merger conversation was that both towns were interested in having a uh, a, uh, a viable elementary school, you know, a viable elementary campus in their town, and that's you know. So I, I think we we need to we need right. to you know keep but, most of our most of our information on 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 that. But yes, I think it's important to say that we have all the options right. listed. Right, but when you're talking five million dollars then that is definitely something we have to put in the back of our head. Right. Sure, absolutely. And I think that, I but I think that, I, I think that understanding how that $5 million um, would be raised is, 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 is an important part of that, mm -hmm. of, of that conversation. Just like understanding what, what kind of hoops we would, we, we would be able to jump through, you know, to, 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 to unmerge is, is, is also part of, part of that conversation. And both of those facts aren't in this document, so we may not get them answered first, because I think our first charge is to go articles. through that document and break that up and get that reported to the board and to the community. And then, you know, it may well be that there's going to be a Montpelier committee, community that, or Montpelier committee that has to figure out how, mm -hmm. you know, you, you, you're going to interface with the AOE around some of these, mm -hmm. so, around some of these questions. Um, you know, just around the one about building a new school a lot of places seem to be talking about that just because there's rumor that Montpelier is going to bring back new school construction funds. And so, you know, knowing whether that's true or not makes a big difference in right. mm -hmm. whether, we, whether we build a new school if, they, if we get 30% or 40% from the state. So we have number nine is unmerge. Yes. Do we, I mean, we, we have, have to get ready. We have to present this in what, two weeks? Why we, do we do it? Do Aren't we supposed to present in December? Yeah. Right, we, we can go. Were, we, were, we were supposed to go back to the board. So that was December be my question. Do we can certainly go back to the board extension? and say, you know what? Here's what we got. Here's what we don't got. I think we give them something. You know, I think we need to give them what we can give them. Can we have ten? Yeah, We're going to have three well, or a maybe couple we, community meetings too. Maybe we can answer right, the question and then we can kind of get into the logistics of how we're going to fill this, and then maybe so it'll bring up how we're going to be able to then report it. When we'll be ready to report it to the board? We've got three columns that need to be populated. We've got things. Yes. What if you? Because obviously, unmerging is probably going to open a whole ball of questions and like Carl said hoops that the town would need to jump through to do so why not put in another row that says categorize the options on a priority of one through ten what and just for numbers for people to say I'm more interested in this option but if I can't have that this would be my second option oh like as when we're presenting this right as, as right a document. Okay. to the community right so it's not like yes or no it's like you right it's right. my second choice. right and I think that yeah. was the issue with the other questionnaire of mm -hmm. the yeah, yes like or the, no question right. it really didn't give options for people to say 
yeah, I want my kid in town, but, but I, couldn't, I prefer going yeah. this way, or I prefer right. driving that way, or right. I'm okay yeah. with having a new building. Like, there wasn't that to actually understand what the community was saying. It's too granular right. and not, not right. Enough. Strongly agree, somewhat agree, <laughs> neutral, <laughs> strongly right. disagree, like that, that kind of, kind of thing. Gritty. That's um, right. right. So, but how how are we going to populate what this? I think we all need to populate the you know, either we make a copy and we share it, or we all send comments. But I think we need to, you know, gather our input and, and, and put it together, yeah. and then try to try well, to so consolidate it and see what that looks like. Right by you know, going through. through um, but the business manager doesn't need seven thousand phone calls. No, so I was going to say I'll volunteer to get the bonding information okay. and make some sense out of that. Okay. And, because, and, and also the the uh, the penalty piece. So we just go with low, moderate, high for short term and long term. Well, I guess that was my yeah. question. I wasn't clear whether we were trying to put dollars amount. I don't dollar. think anybody can at this point. They have. So oh, we're not putting right. dollars in. I think yet? maybe we, I think maybe we cop we transcribe the, the the general dollar ranges. Okay. For the for the the the, the, the just term. the general project costs. But I think yeah, for in terms of maintenance and, and ongoing, we can't do anything more than saying low, low, low moderate, moderate, high. high. But are we going to are we going to get the actual expenses from the business office of what we've been spending for fuel and electricity? We're going to try to get what we can. Out. Eventually, you know, there are the, two options. The, 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 the engineers that had that from um, both buildings when they developed. We had to send three years, or three five, years, three okay, years so, worth of that. But did, where did where? Where is I that? don't know where it is in the report. I just I would like I that is, seen it, but maybe. I didn't see it either. I'm just saying they were. Yeah. I don't know if it was for efficiency purposes. I don't know how they use. I can ask. Yeah, it would be nice to see, like, uh, well, like just long a long month. Costs are really important. Oh, yeah, yeah. Month, I mean, like, a monthly I, summary per building right. over the last three years I would be a lot of long term cost analysis. And here it was, it was. Well, I don't mean long term costs. I mean, like, currently, what what is the the utilities? Right. Just just. That's what you get long term. Yeah. Well, whatever you sent to them those three years. Right. Like, just ask for those back. <laughs> I kept you probably have them in your computer. I d I yeah, but if you've already put it into a spreadsheet. Right. 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 Job yeah. for so we can just like ask if you get that. I, yeah. Yeah. I would like to see that. But but any so that doesn't really <laughs> answer the question. I can ask for that and see where it ended up about utilities. Um, and, and to Carl's point about um, tuition, we would have the number of what we, you know, what we would pay, what our budget is now. But the tuition, isn't it just straight tuition? I think That's the only cost we pay for a choice student. Yeah, we right. Can't, we so can't I mean, there's it. no question about there's no question about getting money, grants, and all that. It is what it is. Tuition, right. is tuition, it's just a flat right? Dollar. What's so the tuition dollars? That's an easy number for. Um, for uh, close all and, and offer choice. Yeah, but we do we have the to, buildings? I was just gonna say, what do we, we still have? Three buildings that we own. Right. Have so we have to. We have to. We have to put that in there. There has to be. A, a, that know, would be the long term. Because cost the buildings just don't go. That would be a huge. Yeah. Then That's why I think at for, this point it's just no Yeah, because right. you can show it to a children sort of and things, you're still heating all the buildings, mm -hmm. even if you're mothballing uh, them, and even if I would hope that. I mean, I would think at least our building would have some viable source that we could use it for. The town wants to buy it. We well, can. yeah, I'm sure that they would. Okay. Well, that's, I mean, again, that's a conversation we'd have to have. Yeah. Um, so, short term, we're going to do a, a range based on the report, like the dollar range? For the, for the, stuff, for the stuff we can, we can put in. Like the fixes. I think we start up putting in words, and if we can fill in ranges, we do. And we try to, you know, we see what, what numbers we can plug into a sheet. So, do you, you know? want me to send a blank spreadsheet to everyone? How do you want to do this? Um, I'm perfectly fine sharing a Google Doc. I don't know how uh, what everyone else is comfortable with with a, a Google spreadsheet. Um, so you're suggesting everybody does it, and then we compare the right. We, we, she say, she sends out a blank spreadsheet, and you fill it in, and then you send your numbers back, and then we kind of aggregate those, and we see where we're, okay, we, we, we see where we're at. Or you can come, or you can come, and I can print one off. <laughs> That's the other choice. That That's totally fine. Why would we do that? Yeah, but I think we, I, you yeah, know, I think we. December 3rd, we're supposed to be, you know, we're at least supposed to be trying to talk to the what board if, in some way. What if we just all do our own and then bring it to the next meeting? What are we getting? What, what, and what if we give the board this with three columns that are unpopulated and say this is where we're at? Um, this is what we're examining right now. This is what we're examining. So then right. there's no well, big rush to do it in three weeks or two. Right, but if we can put some information in, we can. I mean, it, I think it'd be good to, 
But whose information do we pick and how do we, it's going to take a meeting and a half. That's why I said just use the numbers that are in the book. Well, that's the question. I so mean, are we going through? Let's just use through? these numbers. They may be wrong. We can say they may, they're probably off. Seems off. like we, we have, we have numbers. We paid we for it. Use. You might as well use right. it. Right. Well, again, as Carl went through though and yeah, I know stuff, it's, it's I think he can explain that. And I think, right. But I think he can take them. Aren't we all, Carl was weeding out stuff he thought. Right. So are we weeding out stuff to well, sure. right. that's the question. class? So that, that's what I'm wondering. Are we going to sit down and go line by line wait, and be wait, like, wait. well, we don't really need to do uh, the drinking fountains thing, okay, so let's let not me, put that Hold on, in. hold on, let me say this. We weren't charged with taking anything out of the report. We were charged with presenting the report. Actually, the task becomes okay. easier if we don't take anything right. out. If you just take the numbers if we they got, just say, that's here's the what they the said. Numbers are we but, can yeah, decide, let's say we, by a miracle, end up doing number three. We can decide at that point what stays, what right, goes. Right. But if if Carl picks one set of things to take out and I pick another set of things to take out, then we're comparing. Well, it depends, right? Well, or or you're saying, well, we're just going to aggregate yeah. them and we'll have an average. And because and if I be read close. this right, we can but pick our numbers right out of these right totals, so they're yeah, at sure. the bottom yeah. of each building right. in each section. Sure. The only the the only problem we've we've had with that is we've identified um, some of the numbers like renovating a shop space. As, as being as being unnecessary, um, oh, the Rochester right. numbers. Yeah, we don't need you. The, the 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 Rochester numbers, for example, talk about okay. putting external expansions on and not I you know repurposing a, a gym. So it becomes hard to just say let's just take them all out of the book without trying to do some common sense editing. Right. On the There's other hand, the common sense comes editing comes becomes a matter of there. apples, well, orange, kiwi, mango, papaya, put an and, and put you can be celery. I don't know. Right. <laughs> Just, but you know, we, so, so if, we either can just pick them through and put them all in, or we can just, you know, just take them straight from the report. Or we can do whatever. Well, if we I, took I them straight from the report, was like with with a list. I think that this is what you're saying is it, it says leave as is. This is a number, and what that represents is a list. Like a footnote. Yeah. The bottom. Yeah. It does. Re right. It rep including if it represents of of the thing in the shop. It's the number they give. It includes it. Some of and just say, and then just list, list the, and then put the number either, so. next to those crazy things. You right. can just say, take these out because we recommend, or we we we're assuming that we don't need those. So, so we what would the next step there. be? Yeah, why don't then we all we come can, up with our lists of what maybe can we come can out of that, or what edit down? Yeah, but I think we could present this very blank thing right now to the board in yeah. December why and not? say, all these options came up in conversation right. after everybody at the table read the right. report. Why not? So these, this is now oh, what we were, we're trying to do. Filling it in. Right. And we're working mm -hmm. to fill it in. And do you have any feedback? Right. But, you know, would you like us to continue in that direction? And then that way there's no right. crunch to try and meet before the holiday. Mm -hmm. No, I don't think we can meet before the holiday. Right. But I think we could, we could submit if we had, if we had we different could show, information right. that we could submit. And if you're more comfortable saying low, medium, and high, mm -hmm. you know. But Whatever. I think we could all go through the exercise, yeah. present and this in the first week of December, just right. and, and think, then come back to the table. And I think the other thing we do is we just make our collective best guess, and we present it to mm -hmm. the first community, and we'll get feedback on how good a job yeah. we did or didn't do. Yeah. We'll yeah. find and out. You're no, saying, I agree. You're, and you're saying your best guess being similar to what Carl did, going through and kind of, we don't really need to do that, pulling stuff out, not necessarily taking their numbers, or are you talking about taking their numbers? Well, initially I was talking about taking their numbers because okay. I had forgotten about the shop and the, okay. then there's, an, a, there's a new gym out there yeah, that I don't think any of us think need to be there. Some stuff that, yeah. So the only there's thing... there's additions in there. That, right, so we should yeah. probably... Well, I think there should be one version of this. Yeah. Right. And it's a, you know, and, and it could Carl, be I hate to do this, but you've made a stab at it. Do you think that's something you can keep going on? Well, sure, I think we I, should I, all I kind of that. I can that. do that, or you can send me feedback, and I'd put Because you know, I'm put just things afraid in. I'll take out different things than he'll yeah. take out. It's, well, it'll, but, but I thought that that's what, what we were going to come to the table and talk I about. And be right. like, okay, well, let's we're go still with the, one the, step away from the Rochester School. As we're going down, I took out this. Oh, well, you really need that because we have to do it. Oh, okay, I didn't realize that. That's that's what we do to, when we've got two options on the table. Okay. Not yeah. what we do yeah, when we, we have, have so many. I, I, uh, I'm I just afraid just there's the so many different in or three, right? but not. I mean, okay. there's fun to be said for what you did. You right. know, it's a kind of an because intelligent it winnowing. Because confirmed though. this or it, yeah, backed kind of, it up. But I or, think yeah. if for okay. everybody to for all the apples and oranges to yeah. to try to so do that. So if we just take their numbers and we put it here, then this committee essentially is done and then the next step is going to be 
No, we have to present it to the communities. Okay, you have to present these right. numbers to the communities. Yeah, we got We're them out of here. Yep. Um, and to the board. But then the, is the next step going to be another committee, could be of the same people, to then go through on this detailed plane and say, okay, well, the, the, the two towns totally took these four options off. We're not even going to look at them. So, so we're going to then really go down line by line and see what needs to be fixed. And then sure. that or is the one who's going to gonna recommend that to the board. At that point in time, that's when you go and get someone to say, out. here's the guidance for the project now. It's going to be, you know, mm -hmm. drill into doing X, Y, or Z and put together a more detailed proposal for this building or that building or Stockbridge or I mean, whatever. Bottom line is we need to... That's decisions to need to be made, to right. and so that's we, all we're supposed to make some decisions. Can you help us move forward with it? Right. Because the, the, we need to make some decisions. But I think you have, there's a step in between. There's the community meeting, right. but there's also the community feedback. Not everybody feels comfortable standing up in front right. of a room and voicing right. their opinion. So right. how are you going to get community feedback on these options? I like the category, th like, like the or one, ranking one for or nine. category. Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah, that's a great choice, but then yeah. you got to have a step of what you've got to present back to the community what came from that information yeah. before you pursue another choice. Mm -hmm. Because then you're, yeah. or not another choice, but you're pursuing before you take a next, a next step. step. Yeah. So you guys are kind of wrapping up and there isn't another public comment, but I just wanted to kind of bring to the attention that a year and a half ago we voted on this merger because A, there was going to be good educational opportunities for our kids. Yeah. B, the communities really want to keep their K through six in their towns. <clears throat> and C, it was going to be affordable because the state wasn't going to let us operate without merging, without astronomical penalties right. and tax mm -hmm. implications. So it's only a year and a half ago our communities decided on this. So just mm -hmm. keep yeah. that in mind. Yeah. That's that's what they wanted. And this is, I think that's the direction they're assuming we're going to try to keep it. So right. Just bottom line. I think you're right. This is yeah. what now we're talking Each five million thinking, dollars. Good. If if the Good towns summer, were hearing yeah. what things that were being said tonight, they would be, what did I vote on? Like, yeah. You know, well, Rochester's exactly going to go full saying. choice. Are you kidding me? Yeah. No, no, I know. No, Rochester's going to go full Stop choice. Stockbridge. Rochester's going to start a new professional independence. No, they're probably getting driven into <laughs> the Wake Valley School District. You know, so I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, Cricket. Thank you. Thank you, Cricket. Like we okay. want no, not to saying. be a part of, not to send our little kids anywhere. Like we all want our little yeah. kids. No, no, right, right, right. right. You right. Just got to keep that in mind, and yes. then I think you're going to confuse the voters when you start muddying the waters like this. I think all these options are great, and they definitely are going to be asked about, need to be considered. But just keep in mind, we mm. just started this. We're only a year and a half in. Yes. I mean, can we at least give it the five years before we really start looking at these crazy? Unmerges and choices and all in one buildings. Nobody, nobody is expecting that within a year. Well, yeah, well, and the Stockbridge certainly didn't expect the comments about closing Stockbridge Elementary. Or moving grades. Right. So, can right. somebody summarize sure. where we are? Uh, I think where we are is we've decided on the spreadsheet format. We've added our uh, ninth option about the unmerged choice. We've defined columns that we're going to try to, 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 to think about and, 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 and put rankings together for. I will happily collate them if people Thank want to send you, me their feedback, and then we're going to have something that I'm going to try to distribute um, the, at least a few days before that December 3rd meeting um, where we're supposed to be talking to the board so we can look at what everyone seems to have said and what sort of document we've, we've uh, 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 put, put together, and we give that to the board and we see, you know, we see where, where the next steps are. And I'm going to get for this committee, not the board, but for this committee, I'm going to get information on bonding. Correct. I think we created that word, bondability. I think Willis can and help you on that, too. I'm also going to get information yeah. on um, the threshold and when we kick into the penalty. and, and um, Sure. Mm -hmm. what, about, what about the additional uh, information about demerging? Because I think that's it. Reaching out to the state? I, I can either, uh, you can or, or can. I don't care. Let's talk because I'm not sure where we would start. All right, you, you and I can do that. Yeah, that? we can figure that out. Yep. Let's start uh -huh. by. Uh, and I'll send out a. See what you want to dance. See French. if I understand this. What you want right. is everybody to make kind of their best pass through this, doing what you did. Yeah, you, you don't you don't have to do the numbers if you don't feel comfortable going through the numbers, and you can just say use the program numbers or use the you know the the engineers numbers. Right. But I would like it. Lindsay can send yeah. out or Lind Lindy. 
Lindy okay. can send <laughs> out. You probably got yeah. Lindy. Yeah. My, you're good. Um, if you can send out the f uh, a, a final version of this, it's got the, co the, the, the appropriate column Titles. headers yep. and the appropriate nine choices, and then we can all com if, if we can all complete that and get that back to me. Bye. In, uh, if, if we can get it by by uh, um, the weekend before Thanksgiving. And then uh, we're going to come back together as a committee and talk about what. I, each I was going to send. I was going to send it send it out as a summary because we'd be hard to come back together before the third. Well, that's. I guess that's my question. Because the weekend. Are we presenting? I feel uncomfortable with the concept that we would present aggregated information without meeting together again yeah. to discuss it to the board. Okay. Yeah. I would feel more comfortable with saying this is where we're at. And it's blank right now, but everybody's working on filling it out, and we're still going to come back together one more time. Could we to present to the board in January and not December? I can't remember. Was there? Um, there I'd like us to at least try to do. We, we said we presented December. At least to try to say something. Something. Um, let's agri before we decide that the aggregated is data isn't going to make sense. Or the budget deadline, deadline, or is it the budget deadline? I don't know. The I don't the, think so. No, the only deadlines are deadlines that we've imposed on ourselves okay. to be able to make a decision so that not so that we have time to to do any changes uh, if there was going to be any movement of children in. Like if if we're going to eliminate the use of one of the buildings, mm -hmm. how we can reconfigure and have time to reconfigure that to be able to adapt for the kids. I know what the other reason was. The other reason was so that let's say we get it narrowed down to three and we decide we need to ask the board for fourteen thousand dollars to further explore those three. We wanted to be able to do that in a timeline that fit with the budget, budget, budget. Or, although our budget can be amended.